So Brenda's a 40-year-old working mother with three kids. For the past 10 years, she's been experiencing worsening knee pain to the point where she can't run after her kids anymore. Joanne's a varsity soccer player. She's 21 and has recently retorn her ACL. She complains of daily joint stiffness and lack of mobility. Both of these individuals are like three million other Canadians suffering from osteoarthritis, a degenerative disease de degrading the articular cartilage in your knee joint or the protective covering in our bones within the knee. Now both Joanna and Brenda will go to a doctor, be given anti-inflammatories, painkillers, and told to come back when they're 60 years old for a joint replacement surgery because that's all we can do for them. Now you may ask why is this the case and the answer is quite simple. Articular cartilage does not heal after injury and there are no current treatments which encourage this to happen. Sucks, huh? But what if I told you there was a way to, but what if I told you there was a way to regenerate this healthy cartilage and bring a new lease on life for many? Not long ago, scientists discovered a resident stem cell population in the membranous covering of the knee joint known as the synovium. Closer inspection of these cells showed that they were able to differentiate into bone fat and most importantly cartilage. Now when we looked at these cells in lab, we found that in cases of arthritis, you actually have more of these stem cells, but their ability to form cartilage is turned off. Now I was given the task of trying to figure out why this is the case. Any, like anyone who's lost, the first thing I did was look around. I looked at these rambunctious active immune cells in the synovium known as macrophages and their pro-inflammatory protein secretions. This led me, led me to believe that perhaps some of these macrophage secretions are turning off my stem cells' ability to form cartilage. Because of this, I requested to obtain biopsy samples from hospitals for patients undergoing knee surgery, and then went on to isolate my stem cells and my macrophages, and I'm currently trying to find this magical off switch, if you will. Now, at this point in time, I want, you may be wondering, why should you care about stem cells, and why should you care about arthritis? And the answer is quite simple. By the year, by the year 2040, the incidence of OA will double from one in 10 to one in five an economic burden of $68 billion. Because of this, it's going to become everyone's problem. And because of this, the time for basic research and therapy development has never been greater. To complement this, we live in what I like to call a golden age in regenerative medicine, where we've seen Dolly the Lama being cloned in the, uh, Dolly the Lama being cloned in the 90s, and, uh, and you know, Yamanaka winning the Nobel Prize in for IPSCs two years ago. So because of this, I think that not only should we embrace regenerative medicine, but we should encourage it so that one day we can help people like Joanne play soccer again and Brenda run after those kids of hers. Thank you so much.